Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Doing the brand new release came out yesterday, 2018 Topps Heritage Baseball. It's a personal box for our longtime friend and supporter, Stevens V. Moody. Sounds like a epic court case, Moody. I like it. All right. There it is. He's looking for Otani just like everyone else. Maybe we'll find him. Good luck, sir. We did a half case. Oh, look at this. That's pretty cool. You got my you got the Miami Marlins. How many Marlins are still on the team? JT Real Muto still is. Adam Conley, maybe. Starling Castro. I don't think Starling Castro's on the on, on the Marlins anymore, right? Uh, Derek Dietrich, don't know if he's still there. Yelich, nope. Justin Boer, yes, I think. Dan Straley, Jose Urena, oh, they didn't even put Giancarlo Stanton here. Wee and Chen, Martin Prado, they have Martin Prado. Brian Anderson and Jose Urena, did I say Jose? Dan Straley, and they're Justin Boer in the middle. No Yelich. JT Real Muto is probably gone in the middle of the season. I mean, if you're going to do it, Marlins, yeah, <laughs> Moody's like, this is not a team chart. It's a trade chart. Yeah, which which one of these guys are going to be traded? Actually, here. Oh, let me give you a better look at this. It is, it, this is cool, though. Sorry. Ragging on the Marlins. Marlins don't need to be kicked when they're down. There it is. So you got all these guys right here. Just move these guys. You know what I mean? They move yell. It just move all. They just move the rest. You know because you might as well just tear the band aid off and just really tank. Uh, I don't know if it's numbered to fifty moods, but it's uh, it's it just says fifteen of thirty cards. It says there's the serial number on the back. I don't see a serial number or the card number on the back, poster number, but I don't see a serial number saying that it's numbered to 50. I don't see one of those. But this poster is pretty cool. I don't know. I'm assuming that all the teams have posters. All right. So I don't know what this means for your box. So maybe something especial? In case you're wondering, ladies and gentlemen, the Marlins win total Let's see what Bovada has, if they move the line on that. I think Bovada has their win total at 64 and a half. Under, I think. Who would still go with the under at 64 and a half? They're going to lose a lot of games. They're, they're not going to be a good team. Marlins, by the way, the, their chances to win the World Series looks like 50, plus 50,000, which is about 500 to 1 which I think is what uh, Leicester City was, that Premier League team that won the entire thing. Sorry, Moody, I'm looking up this over-under here. Almost there. Yeah, Bovada, which is where I invest a few pennies every once in a while, uh, has the Miami Marlins regular season win total at 64 and a half. 64 and a half. Who takes the over? Who takes the under? Really? The, these posters are limited to 50? Oh, that's pretty cool then. Even if it is the Marlins. It's pretty nice. Win total sixty four and a half. They're gonna lose. Le they're gonna lose a lot of games. You say take the over. Moody says take the over. We East is weak. I don't know. Like, what if Syndergaard and, and Degrom are healthy? The Nationals are gonna win. Like, see the Nationals win total. Cause I, I we we can kind of math this out too. But the Nationals win total. They Bovada has them at ninety two and a half, and I think that's low. I guess it's, I mean, I don't know, it's all the Mets, I guess. 
you know, I mean, the Braves are going to win like 75, 80 games, right? You know, so if the Braves win 75 games, Mets have got to win like 85 games. Jacob DeGrom and Syndergaard are healthy. You know, and then the Nationals are just going to run away with that division. Phillies are going to be decent. Phillies are going to be better than the Marlins. You know? Yeah. I'll, be, I'll bet the Marlins would would screw everybody and win like 66 games or something. Was that 68 games. Yeah, they, I guess they do have pride that they have to play for. Everyone's kicking them while they're down. Michael G., are we doing a late night push? It's, I mean, it's very late for a late night push. What are you thinking? You tell me what you're thinking. Maybe, maybe we can we can discuss that. I'm just doing this personal box for Moody, and um, once we're done, I don't know what we're gonna do after this. It's gonna take like ten minutes, but I don't know what we're gonna do after that. I don't see any orders coming in. We're a little bit far away on a lot of breaks. We only have thirty minutes left in the show. My my hope is maybe to do those last two personal boxes from from Heritage, from the last from our from that case that we opened up. Then we could post another twelve boxes. But other than that, all right, good luck, Moody. Thank you for grabbing this box. And thanks for indulging me on the win total conversation. Oh, he's got, you have a point to be aware of? That poster is nice, too. There's Mike Trout, just a base card there. Man, Michael Brantley was supposed to be injuries derailed that guy big time. 2017 MLB season, the fewest wins were 64, two teams and no team won less. But yeah, I mean, Marlins are bad. They're really bad, Moody. Their, their pitching staff was not good last year. It's not better this year. And and their offense has got to be worse this year. That's just a base card. They they're they're gonna lose. They're gonna lose a hundred games, aren't they? Sixty two and a hundred. I mean, it's gonna be close. Vegas has those. Vegas has those win total numbers for the most part pretty dialed in, and they'll they'll adjust based on how people wager anyway. So, you know the house will always win, but so th those are those are really difficult. I think only a few are they really. I think I, I've been doing a little research. I think only a few teams, only a handful of teams, five or six out of all thirty, where Vegas has missed the mark by over. By more than like five games or something like that, they 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 pretty much have a lot of the other teams dialed in. But that is food for thought, though. Last season, the fewest wins were sixty four. Two teams, none under. Cody Bellinger was just a regular base card. Where are the hits, Moody? Come on, Otani. Well, there's Dallas Keuchel. Game use memorabilia. That'll be the relic out of there. It's gonna be a relic or auto. So there's your hit for the box. Not numbered, but let's, come on. There's gotta be like a cool variation here. Come on, cool variation. Come on, Otani. Even a base card. There's Manny Machado. 534 out of 999. The truth is out there. Oh, the truth is not out there. Oh, yeah, we're going to believe the U.S. Air Force. Telling us there's no UFOs. <laughs> Come on. 
You're the, you, you guys are the ones con in communication with them. No aliens to see here. Uh, the Chris Bryant with the facsimile autograph. Albert Pujols. All right, we got Elvis Andrews. It's about one out of every 50, 52 packs or something like that. It would be the Black Borders. There you go. And Jeff Samarja. And that's it. Well, Moody, at least you got this nice poster. Right, these are nice too. Got the uh, the poster as well. Plus, I'm sure I missed a couple variations here, but everything will ship to you. Um, so check out all that variation guide and whatnot. Should be a lot of fun. Personal boxes available on jaspyshobbyland.com, folks. Thanks, Moots. We'll see you next time.